Hey, John, man, just wanted to do a quick video for you, brother, and uh, just show you how it looks. Um, this thing's great, man. I really like it. You can see how it looks on the rig. Uh, it fits exactly where I was hoping it would fit. Uh, this is the other side of the rig, obviously. Um, and it's exactly what I was looking for. I run this rig to be as, um, as minimal as possible uh, with utilizing as much of the real estate as possible, but at the same time not restricting move. Um, you know, it does exactly that. I don't have to worry about retention for the cuffs in terms of, you know, whether I'm hopping over a fence, um, you know, uh, chasing after somebody or anything like that. I don't have to worry about cuffs coming out. Um, I can index them in the dark. I can index them, you know, with my eyes closed, with something over my face, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so that part of it's perfect for me. Um, really love the retention, like I said. Uh, real natural since I've always had my cuffs here. Um, you'll hear a lot of people say don't wear cuffs. Uh, in the back, don't ever wear cuffs in the back, and a lot of guys always put their cuffs up front. Um, that's great. I do wear my cuffs up here um, in a custodial environment, such as prisons and things like that, which I have worked in in the past. Um, I found that it's always good to have a pair of cuffs, uh, not only in the front but in the back. Uh, as we discussed, if you're sprawled out on a subject, you don't have to actually move or uh, release your uh, your body weight on top of that subject to um, uh, to access your cuffs. So I always keep one center in the back as well. Um, you can see that there. Um, as far as coming out, coming out's perfect. Um, I like to do two fingers here. I can index it and uh, and I can yank them out. Before we do that, um, something to think about real quick. I can actually sit here in a very relaxed, uh, what we call um, a, a full interview stance, and I can actually have the top of my hand here just indexed on the cuffs. It's a very relaxed posture. Um, it doesn't look aggressive. It doesn't look as if I'm reaching for cuffs. There's no Velcro coming off. Uh, to alert somebody that from an interview to um, to um, an arrest or a situation where they're going to be detained. So I think that part is uh, is great. Um, a second little ancillary benefit of it is it's completely silent. You know, coming out, it's very minimal. Uh, again, no Velcro or anything like that. Once the chains, uh, the cuffs come out, uh, it's very easy to slip into a cuffing uh, posture and uh, and go on. Um, going back in is great. There's definitely a technique to it, which, I, uh, which I'm trying to learn. You can see a, a training scar right there as I try to put them in. Uh, I am learning how to do it a little bit easier. Uh, they're going great. Now, those aren't the exact position that they need to be seated in, but the way they're in right now is perfect because they're retained. Um, again, not 100% in exactly the way that it's molded, but they are retained completely. They're as tight as they would be if they, in, if they were in 100%. <laughs> Um, and the uh, uh, you know the benefit is that's a one-handed operation. Um, should I then, as I'm putting them on, have to go hands-on for whatever reason? Um, you know, I'm not I'm not messing about with uh, with straps, Velcro, uh, QD buckles, or anything like that. So so I really like that. So uh, so as far as I'm concerned, John, big home run, brother. And uh, really appreciate it. I've been showing it around the office. Uh, nobody's cheaper than a cop. So uh, so we'll see how many orders you get, but. Uh, but as far as uh, what you did for me, uh, you know, couldn't be better, brother. Really, really like it, man. So I'll send you some pictures as well, and uh, have a good Thanksgiving. Thanks, John.